As I sat down to pen this column, a sense of unease washed over me. The latest equity guilt study from Barclays has painted a grim picture of the looming treasury tsunami, a deluge of government debt that threatens to reshape the global economic landscape. It's a clarion call that resonates with the deep-seated anxieties many of us harbor about the nation's financial trajectory. For too long, we've lived in a world of relative complacency, lulled into a false sense of security by low interest rates and a steady influx of buyers for our burgeoning debt. But the tides are shifting, and we find ourselves adrift in uncharted waters. The Congressional Budget Office's projections, once seen as alarmist, now appear almost rosy in comparison to the stark reality that Barclays has laid bare. At the heart of this quandary lies a fundamental question, what is the true cost of our profligacy? As the venerable institution notes, the assumptions underpinning the CBO's forecasts, the expiration of Trump-era tax cuts, dwindling defense spending, and a dovish Federal Reserve, may prove overly optimistic. The reality could be far more severe. A true treasury tsunami that sweeps away our complacency and forces us to confront the consequences of our actions. For decades, we've been buoyed by the insatiable appetite of foreign central banks and the Federal Reserve's quantitative easing program. But as these safety nets unravel, the burden of absorbing our mounting debt will fall squarely on the shoulders of households, a burden they may be unwilling to bear without demanding a hefty premium. And therein lies the crux of our predicament. As interest rates rise to entice reluctant buyers, the ripple effects will reverberate across the global stage. Barclays paints a sobering picture of imported tightening, a scenario where our fiscal incontinence drives up treasury yields, tightening monetary conditions worldwide and forcing central banks to respond with rhetoric or action. It's a bitter pill to swallow, but one we must confront head-on. No longer can we afford to turn a blind eye to the long-term consequences of our actions. The three new DS, debt, demographics, and decarbonization, have conspired to push up neutral real interest rates, and with them, the specter of higher treasury yields looms large. As Barclays' analysis suggests, a 10-year treasury yield in the range of 4.5% to 5% might well be the new normal, a far cry from the low-yield environment we've grown accustomed to. And with this shift comes a cascade of ripple effects, from higher borrowing costs for corporations and consumers to potential turmoil in housing and equity markets. But amidst this gloom, there is a glimmer of hope, a chance for redemption, if we have the courage to seize it. By acknowledging the gravity of our situation and embracing fiscal responsibility, we can chart a new course, one that steers us away from the shoals of insolvency and towards a more sustainable future. It won't be easy, of course. Tough choices lie ahead, choices that will require sacrifice and a willingness to confront harsh realities. But in the depths of this crisis lies an opportunity, a chance to reaffirm our commitment to fiscal discipline and to rebuild trust in the foundations of our economic system. As I put down my pen, I'm reminded of the words of Winston Churchill, the price of greatness is responsibility. It's a mantra that resonates deeply in the face of our current predicament. For too long, we've indulged in the illusion of easy answers and painless solutions. But the time has come to embrace the hard truths and to summon the fortitude to navigate the choppy waters ahead. The treasury tsunami may be upon us, but we are not powerless in the face of its onslaught. By acknowledging the gravity of our situation and committing ourselves to fiscal responsibility, we can weather this storm and emerge stronger, more resilient, and better prepared to confront the challenges of the future. It's a reckoning, to be sure, but one that offers the promise of redemption, a chance to chart a new course and to reclaim the mantle of economic leadership that has long defined the American spirit. The road ahead will be long and arduous, but it is a journey we must undertake, for the sake of our nation and the generations yet to come.